Hello, my name is Blaine Clark. I work for Agco Corporation. I'm here today with Tim Goff with Goff's Equipment in Litchfield, Connecticut. Tim, today we just want to walk everyone through not necessarily the features and the benefits of the GC1700. Many of our customers know about the benefits of this tractor. However, I would like to talk about the new DL95 loader. Can you walk us through maybe some of the features that are on the new loader? Sure, Blaine. Uh, as Blaine said, my name is Tim Goff. I'm sales manager at Goff's Equipment Service in Litchfield, Connecticut. You can visit us online at www.goffsequipment.com. The DL95 is a new loader to our GC1700 series lineup. It's got quite a few features that are new to us on this uh, on this machine. I'll walk through walk you through a, a few of them here. Uh, probably the biggest thing for me uh, seeing this loader was recessed grease zerks grease fittings here in the end of the pins these pins are now galvanized and there is a hole cut in the frame of the loader to lock the pin in so it doesn't rotate on you while uh, transporting uh, material but not only is it galvanized it also has those grease zerks in the end of it the nice thing about those grease zerks is the fact that you can get to them all from this side or the right hand side there's no reaching in the back there's no reaching underneath getting grease all over you it's very easy to grease the pins of this loader. The other nice thing is the lockable pin down below here that of course you'll remove when you take the loader off, but this is a hardened galvanized pin and of course recessed into the loader frame of the, of the loader so it doesn't rotate and spin around on you. Well, Tim, I think you, you point out a great feature there with the loader pins. I think the nice thing about the recessed grease fittings obviously is they're not protruding out so you're talking about knocking them off or anything like that i think that's a nice nice feature there's a lot that looks different obviously to the loader um could you just point out tell me about the parking stands obviously it looks a little different than, than what we're used to tell me about the parking stands. well again taking a look at this the parking stand is actually built into the the loader frame so it looks kind of streamlined as part of the frame of the machine it also has a larger footprint so there is no sinking of the loader frame into soft ground. Um, it, you know, it actually stays on the ground a little bit easier uh, than the smaller loader parking stands that we've seen in the past. Yeah, and great point. Also visually, the, the loader looks different. Tell me about the crossbar. It's, it's in a different location. Tell me about the uh, cross tube here. Well, if you kind of look down below here, this is the end cap of it. But the crossbar is down lower on our loader than a lot of the competition. And there's two reasons for that. One, it adds more stability to the bottom side of the loader and more towards the bucket. And two, it's actually out of the way of the headlights. So if you're working at night, you don't have to worry about that crossbar blocking your view uh, during nighttime use. Yeah, great point. We had talked earlier, tell me the, the hoses are, I you can't even see the actual hydraulic hoses on, on the other side over there. Tell me about those. Uh, again, a, a part that really makes this loader stand apart from a lot of the competition is the fact that the loader hoses are now recessed into the frame of the tractor on the right hand side of the machine. So what that does is actually give you a better view from inside sitting on the operator's seat. You're able to see things a little bit better and you risk catching a hose say on a limb uh, or uh, driving through the woods or even material handing ca catching a rock on it. Yeah, great point Tim. Also, right next to me, I mean, this is easy to point out, visually these cylinders look a lot larger than, than what we're used to in the previous loader. Can you tell me about uh, these cylinders? Why, why is bigger better? Well, cylinder? that's really what makes this loader stand apart from really most of the competition. And, and I say that because the loader cylinders on this, uh, both the lift and the dump, are two and a half inch diameter cylinders. Uh, and that, of course, is improving lift capacity. Previous lift capacity on this tractor was 678 pounds. We're now seeing 870 pounds worth of lift capacity uh, with the DL95, which is just tremendous lift capacity for a tractor of this stature. Yeah, that's a great point. Also, right next to me, Tim, the, the bucket. Um, the, the cutting edge on the bucket is a lot different. Talk to me a little bit about the, the cutting edge. What makes this uh, not only different, but more durable? Why this one better? Than well, the new cutting edges on, the, on these buckets are actually a hardened it's edge. It's the same here. type of material that they're using in mining equipment. Uh, and what that does is it actually keeps it from wearing longer uh, over time 
so you're not welding on new edges like we've seen in the past. Uh, these edges, it'd be a, you'd have a hard time wearing it down in a, in a short period of time. Uh, and again, it's all due to the amount uh, or, or the material that they're using uh, to make these loader cutting edges. Tim, I think you've hit on a lot of themes about this loader. It has a lot of features, obviously, but you talked about visibility, um, the hoses being in the, the loader beam. Um, you talked about durability of this particular loader, and not only that, the strength and some of the features that you pointed out here. Obviously, a, a great loader matching up with a great tractor. Um, Tim, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate your time and showing everybody all the features of the new loader. Not a problem, Blaine. Uh, you can see these new loaders at your local Massey Ferguson dealer. Visit MasseyFerguson.com and check out the dealer locator. And uh, be sure to stop into your dealer and, and test drive one and see what you think of it today. Thank you, Tim.